Welcome to Program and Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about syntax in Arduino and do some exercises in order to get used to with Arduino. First, talk about embed this system. We have to know about binary, aka logic level. Okay, here. Uh, binary is the smallest unit of data in computer with single value, either 0 or 1. By the digits, we can commute with microcontroller or almost hardware. And in our video series, we will define logic 0 is low level and logic 1 is high level. Is equivalent 0 is 0 voltage when we make an output and 1 is 5 voltage. Okay? And about programming language, the Arduino compiler accepts C and C++. In fact, many of the open source libraries are written in C++. Much of the underlying system is not object oriented, but it could be. Thus, the Arduino language is C++ or C. Okay, you can use C or C++. Therefore, uh, we also have syntax, variable, and data types etc. as the other programming language. But with embedded system, we have some new data types because system uh, can sometimes define integer to be 8 bits, 16 bits or 30 bits long. This is some new uh, data types. That is, byte is equivalent on size char and the size is 8 bits. And next is unit and size in 8 is uh, equivalent and size char is has 8 bits size and more is 16 bits and 32 bits okay now i will talk about arduino function in idea arduino okay in idea arduino when we create a new project the two default function will be appear right here you see F setup function and loop function Pay attention, we don't have main function in this idea like the other idea to code. We have, we just have two functions like this. Both of two functions you void right here. It means in this default function, we don't need to return any variable. But uh, when you create your function, user function, right? Uh, you can put any data type as you want to handle your project. I will make this sample later. Okay. In setup function, we usually set up some function to start and we will run program in love function. Yeah, right here. Declare init call function, set up some pins, etc. once time. It just run once time. It just run once in setup and then it out. But in the love function, your program will be uh, repeatedly. Okay. Your program run forever inside loop function until you disconnect the power of Arduino because we don't need a device run continuously. Ah, sorry, because we need a device run continuously whole time to check sensor, check weather, check LED button, etc. That's the reason why we have a loop function. We don't need a device run once and then up forever. Okay, understand? Uh, this is how we uh, uh, organize global, local variables and user function. So, um, in the head, in the head of text editor, we often include some libraries, and then we also define some variables below that. And next is global variables. You can define uh, global variables here to uh, use in half of your program. And next is user function, but um, you need to uh, put your user function above of set of function to avoid errors. Okay, pay attention about that. And the last one is uh, if you want to create a local variable, you need to in it in a certain function you want. This is a sample local variable in setup function cannot use in loop function. Okay, if you want to uh, use a local variables, you need to uh, init in a certain function. Okay, 
Okay, that all thing we need to know where to start with. I don't know. Now, first I will explain about plane project again, and then I will fix some SSI in reverse video right here. Okay, let's check plane project. Okay, here this is Blink project. Uh, I will delete some command right here for easy, for clearly. Okay, um, they um, set up pin mod in setup function and write a algorithm in the loop function. Right here, with this line, pin mod let built in and output. So what is that? This line mean we set a pin let built in and let built in of Arduino is pin thirteen. Okay, pin thirteen and output right here means uh, we will set up it as output pin. Okay, we can change this line to here. Okay, we will set up it as output by this line. Next, in loop function, we also change for easy. Okay, first line is mean um, make an output voltage at pin 13, and the output voltage is high. Okay, is high, it means we will output 5 voltage at pin 13. Do you remember high level? Yes, it will make an output in 5 voltage if you make the LED on and next uh, the LED keep on in 1 second then this light will make the LED off because uh, they use low it means uh, the pins 13 will output as 0 voltage okay turn off the LED then they keep turn off the LED in 1 second and repeat forever Okay, do you understand? Uh, we just do to light in this uh, exercise. First, it pin mod, and the second is digital write. Uh, pin mod will set up your pins with a uh, state that is output, and the digital write will uh, make an output with high or low. Okay. Okay, that's it about the Blink project. Now I will uh, make a second task here. I will make this because the first task is asymmetric with the second task, so I don't fix the first task. Okay, let's start with the second task. In the previous video, I have the diagram like this. Now I will change a little bit of cathode pin of LED. I will use GND pin anymore but instead of that I will use pin 7 instead of GND to control that like this I have a diagram like this okay here I have already written the code for second task so I will explain the code before I um, make a circuit okay so first I will define a variable with name is my anode less is pin 8 and I define my cathode LED is pin 7 it's client in diagram right it's client diagram pin 8 is anode and pin 7 is cathode okay right here it's just a variable so uh, I, I define like this for uh, easy change number of pin if you want okay next I define a variable LED on off is 1000 okay Okay, next I have a setup and loop function right here. Uh, first, uh, and I set you, if you want to use more pin, uh, right here I use pin 8 and pin 7. Uh, we need to init pin 8 and pin 7 as output right here. Pin mod pin 8 as output and pin mod pin 7 as output too. Okay, next uh, I will run uh, this light once because um, uh, this cathode LED I uh, make an output is low voltage it means I will uh, output zero voltage at pin 7 is equivalent with GND so I don't need to put this light in the loop function because it's like a GND so 
in Blink project do you rem remember in Blink project they just uh you only one line to control it okay okay right here i have digital right and or not uh, my anod led is mean i will uh, make an output at five voltage in at uh, pin eight and then keep turn on turn off and keep turn off okay now we'll connect my circuit and upload to arduino for clearly here i will uh, connect anode pin to pin 8 and connect cathode pin to pin 7 okay then we'll connect to the laptop now I will check the COM bar is it COM3 okay then is my code okay I will upload to my Arduino okay it's uploading you see it's blink okay it's blinked okay we will go to the next task that is finally task finally task uh, we will connect more led we'll connect more led and make it blink uh, we can make a spling from left to right right to left from center or anything you want you just need to control it to practice for better okay and i have a diagram like this i will connect gd to cathode of lead for easy because i want to control two pin at the same time i just want to control one pin is enough Okay, the anode of LED1, I will connect to uh, pin 10, the second to the pin 9, and last is pin 8, okay, right here, pin 10, pin 9, and pin 8. Okay, now I will make a circuit like that. I will disconnect uh, my Arduino first, and then connect, connect like a diagram, okay, I have... Uh, um. Oh. Okay, first a resistor I will plug like the diagram. First, second, and last one. Okay, then we'll connect LED with anode is here. Suddenly right here. Lastly, like this. Okay, and then we'll connect the anode first. The anode we'll connect on the left, we'll connect to the 10, A9, 10. Next a nine nine in in the center and the last one e eight k okay, eight and the cathode led we will connect to the GND we will connect to the GND I will connect right here connect the cathode up center pin center led is in one column column right here and then we'll connect it to the GND okay connect to the GND GND okay we'll connect like this like this okay now i have a program i i 
I has program for last project. I will I also define like that. And not let one is ten, let two is nine, and uh, three eight like the diagram. <laughs> then we will let on off. I will uh, define let on off with five hundred millisecond, and then set up. Uh, in it one by one, okay. In it one by one, as I said. Then I have a loop function like this. First, I will turn on the LED on the turn on led 1 then keep turn on turn on led 2 keep turn on turn on led 3 keep turn on and then it will turn off led 1 keep turn off turn off led 2 keep turn on turn off led 3 keep turn off okay now i will demo for you connect to the laptop check com bar and then upload you see of uh, the magic See, the LED will blink from left to right. Okay, with these light, you can control your LED uh, from left to right, but you can also change it to um, control from right to left, or from the center to the left, or from center to the right. Okay, the the code is so easy, right? It just have pin mode and digital right. With uh, turn on left, you just have digital right with high and turn up with digital right with low. Just to light, you can control your LED. Okay, right now I will uh, create a user function. Void and your my function okay my function my function and but as I said we have to put is above the set of function in this my code and in the loop I will call the my function like this but this way you can call my function multiple times without use many code. Just call this function and the program will blink the lab.